So guys, this is a part of my perfume collection and somewhere in there is my most favorite perfume discovery of the month. And if you would like to find out what it is, then make sure to keep on watching because all the details are coming up. All you have to do is to give it a huge thumbs up if you enjoy watching these monthly episodes. And of course, feel free to subscribe to my channel as well as activate that bell so you will be updated about my new videos. And once you're done with that, we can get started. Hello and welcome everyone to another on the floor chatty episode, but in my new space. I enjoy filming these casual videos so much that I just really wanted to have a nice relaxed chat about my most favorite perfume discovery of the month. And since it's end of October, it felt like the perfect time to talk about it, specifically because ever since I smelled this fragrance, it got me at the first sniff and I have been wearing it non-stop ever since I first smelled it and as you know I absolutely adore addictive fragrances so this one which is actually a new release from Francesca Bianchi for her new brand Head & Nick that is called Divine Perversion is something absolutely special but first let me just tell you a little bit about this brand and Francesca Bianchi who is an independent perfumer with lots of fans all over the world because she has very recognizable fragrances that are very different from everything else so please let me know at this point if you have ever smelled her perfumes and if not I have a video dedicated to her fragrances and how I feel about them so make sure to check it out for more information but she is known for provoking and sexy loud perfumes and that's what her Francesca Bianchi line is about but this one Hedonic or Hedonic you know I used to mispronounce her name for the long longest time ever and call her Francesca Bianchi, not Francesca Bianchi, until you taught me how to do that right. So please let me know how to pronounce the name of this brand correctly. But anyway, this is not only about perfumes, it's also about leather goods that she really likes. And since leather is also one of her most favorite perfume materials, it's the center of this brand. So, her first perfume, Divine Perversion, is of course about leather, but not only. So, let me first spray it once again on me, and that definitely gives me sexy kick right away, because she's really known for very sultry fragrances, but this one opens with a lovely fruity scent, which doesn't even seem sexy at first, definitely delicious because of the note of raspberry that really stands out in the opening, and you know, it's not really sour as raspberry candy, it's rather berry, sweet, delicious, a little bit spiced by pink pepper, but not too much, and it quickly changes into something sweet, yet not gourmand, and at this stage, one of the main players of this composition, not the leather yet, but caramel comes into play and it brings in sweetness but in somehow mature way so it's not candy in a bottle but it is a sweet scent and also a powdery one and as you know I adore powdery perfumes and so does Francesca who I had a pleasure to interview in one of my recent casual live chats on Instagram so if you don't follow me there make sure to do so because I love to invite people from the industry like perfumers and brand owners and just chat about their work so if you would like to find out more make sure to follow me on my Instagram unfortunately our live chat couldn't be saved so I guess I just need to wait until her newest release and then repeat our session so give this video a thumbs up if you like that idea but anyway she has actually told me that she loves powdery perfumes and leather of course so since this brand is all about the leather and leather jewelry that you can get from her official website and that's why I'm sort of dressed in leather today because obviously I tried to match the vibe of this fragrance and my outfit so let me know how I did guys but anyway 
I feel like you can smell love in all her perfumes, but in a different way. And that makes sense because there are so many leather materials on the market that you can really push this note in different directions. And here it is so powdery. And that's probably because of the iris and rose. And I smell those too. But in the dry down, it's warm and animalic. And she's really known for that animalic dry down that drives people crazy. However, it's not as strong as, let's say, in Lover Stale or Under My Skin. Those overpowering perfumes with so much uh, power in them. And it's not as powery as my beloved Angel's Dust. It's something in between with very fruity opening. It's playful and at the same time it smells sultry and sexy and deep yet, you know, not overboard. And that's what I love about it. You know, I personally struggle with leather, although it's one of my most favorite notes, but when it is done correctly, I adore it. And in here, it's done perfectly. Francesca gets it every time. And so this is leather that can be worn on everyday basis. At the same time, you can wear it if you're going out. And clearly, I'm obsessed with this unisex perfume that I would recommend to men and women, whether you are a leather lover or not. If you are looking for a perfume that would be powdery and sexy, that is it. I even feel like there is a lipstick accord in there. And I've read that some people say that it smells lipsticky. And I gotta be honest with you, I agree with them. It does smell like lipstick, but not dated, dry dusty old kind of lipstick it smells mature and sexy and uh, some even asked if it can be compared to lipstick on and you know what I decided to smell them side by side so let me grab it real quick I have it here this is lipstick on by Mason Margiela and I will Straight on here it's discontinued so many people are looking for something similar and um, there is the similarity with the note of iris that makes it a little bit drier, powderier, kind of like a pomade lipsticky. They are not sticky. This one is drier. And I would say the Divine Perversion is more fun. It will offer you more. And it's not too feminine, so even men can wear it. And as with all Francesca Bianchi, you will get high quality fragrance because it performs nicely, it projects well, it has great sillage and longevity so yeah I'm clearly obsessed this is fantastic brilliant work one of the best perfumes I've smelled in my life it makes me feel like home just this feeling from within it's gorgeous it feels right every time I wear it and even if you spray a lot it's not you know like you over sprayed something so it's just such a fantastic scent that I highly recommend everyone to check out because I am blown and I'm excited for more hedonic fragrances and at this point I would like to know if you have any experience with it and if so please let me know if you find it amazing as I do and of course if you have any favorites from Francesca Bianchi please rank them. I would like to hear that as well as if you have any questions left I'm here to answer them and the question I have for you is what is your most favorite perfume discovery of October 2021? Leave me a comment below right now. And of course, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching it, subscribe to my channel. And in case you're interested in this perfume, you can get it from her official website or online shop Aquasion Natural, which is great for those who love Indian niche perfumery. And with my discount, you can even save some money. All the health information is going to be below. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye, guys.